what's going on youtube coming back at you with another video okay so this is interesting um basically snoop dogg has been publicly ripping takashi 69 for snitching and as of lately it's been alleged that snoop dogg is a snitch himself there was some paperwork put out here i believe by reggie wright jr and actually, if you want to see this paperwork yourself, you can go on bombfirst.com and check it out. But basically, again, this paperwork put out here, we're going to go through it. I'm going to read it to you. Um, we'll kind of go over it and then I'll let you guys let me know in the comments what you think about it. So apparently this paperwork is alleged paperwork from May 14th, 1998. This is... The LAPD Robbery Homicide Unit. Subject, Calvin Brodus Interview. And that's Snoop Dogg's name if you don't know. Suspect, it says Calvin Brodus, a.k.a. Snoop Doggy Dog. Delmar Arnaud. Now that's Daz. If you didn't know, that's Daz. It's kind of interesting. Um, They put it Snoop Doggy Dog like that in Dazzy Dillinger. But... The location, Universal Amphitheater, Universal City, May 1st, 1998, 2300 hours. This is the report. Gangster rap artist Calvin Brodus and Delmar Arnaud were arrested by deputies Ron Sabatine and Jim Farrell for possession of less than one ounce of marijuana during an incident at the Universal Amphitheater. Deputies... Sabatine and Farrell were working under a private entity contract providing uni ununiformed deputies outside the backstage area of the amphitheater. They were assigned to monitor and assist with the universal security officers manning the metal detectors used to screen anyone entering through the artist's entrance. The incident began when four to five male African Americans approached Mr. Brodus. He recognized them as employees of Death Row Records, a company he just broke away from. One of them struck him in the face with his fist. Mr. Brodus, Mr. Arnaud, and a third man, Priest Brooks, immediately ran out of the backstage area outside to where the new deputies were posted. As the three men approached the two deputies, Mr. Arnaud yelled out, He's got a gun. Deputies Sabatine and Farrell immediately patted all three men for weapons and discovered that both Brodus and Arnaud had a baggie of marijuana in their pockets. Deputy Sabatine requested assistance when he noted that approximately 60 males had exited the backstage area and were approaching them in varying degrees of hostility. Approximately 20 deputies assigned to booth the Universal uh, substation and the Unisat Reserve Company responded along with 12 Universal Studios armed security officers, off-duty police officers, and 30 un- Uni or uniformed American Protective Services officers responded and quickly restored order. Response units from the West Hollywood Station arrived, also arrived and stood by while the concert crowd exited. There were no further incidents directly related to this concert and no one was injured. Mr. Brodus was extremely cooperative during the incident and in fact, said that he was thankful that the deputies had been there as he felt that the assault was intended as an act of intimidation. He told me that he felt that he was in grave danger as a result of leaving Death Row Records and signing with his new label, No Limits. Mr. Brodus also said that he felt Mr. Arnaud was in danger as he's still under contract to Death Row Records. During the discussion, I said that I knew who killed Tupac Shakur. Mr. Brodus responded by saying that is the man sitting next to Tupac. I asked if he meant Suge Knight. He replied affirmatively. 
Mr. Brodus also said that he was upset that his bodyguards disappeared and did not assist him. So, this is the paperwork, um, what was put out there. It's definitely interesting. I don't know what to, to, to take of it, to be honest with you. There's a lot of things that seem flawed to me, but that could just be normal. Like, cop, not cops aren't always the brightest people, so the fact that there's some spelling errors and some other things. Does that mean it's fake? I have no idea, to be honest with you. I can't tell you on whether or not this is authentic paperwork. But this is what has been alleged as the Snoop Dogg snitch paperwork. It's floating around. I wanted to bring it to you guys, and you can let me know. Do you think this paperwork is actually legitimate? Is this real paperwork? Leave it in the comments. I appreciate you watching. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, share. Make sure you also ring the bell for the notifications. I got some good videos coming today, so definitely stay tuned. I appreciate you, though. Peace.